As you can see, it is gray, and on the mound is highly touted left-hander Ryan Rollison. He's making his AAA debut tonight. He was selected by the Rockies in the first round of the 2018 draft, and he is the top pitching prospect in the Rockies organization. It's always special when someone makes their AAA debut. You know they are one step away from the major leagues, but it's even more special when it's a pitcher, when it's a starting pitcher, when it's a top prospect. We remember John Gray's AAA debut. We remember Kyle Freeland's AAA debut. We remember Ermond Marquez's AAA debuts. We'll look back on those throughout tonight's broadcast. But for now, right now, the story is on the mound. Ryan Rollison gets ready to start his AAA career tonight. Omar Estevez, a right-handed hitter at the plate. And the first pitch delivered at 637. It's a fastball, a cold strike on the outside corner. 91 miles an hour, by the way, on the radar gun. 73 degrees here in Albuquerque. 0-1 popped up foul to the right and out of play. And Rollison quickly jumps ahead. No balls and two strikes. Rollison's going to give you four pitches. Fastball, curveball, slider, changeup. And all the scatter reports that we have read and that we have heard is that he is an intense competitor who is going to attack you. The 0-2 pitch, a wave and a miss, and he strikes out Omar Estevez. What a way for Rollison to start his AAA career as he whiffs Estevez on three pitches. Now here is Luke Raley, who digs into the left-handed batter's box. In case you're just joining us, no Cody Bellinger tonight, no Zach McKinstry tonight. We have since learned that that was the plan all along. Neither one of them were injured or re-injured in last night's game. First pitch to Rayleigh, a lefty is a little bit inside for a ball. In fact, both of them are running the bases. Both were taking fly balls in the outfield. Prior to batting practice today, they're both scheduled to play tomorrow. The 1 0 pitch, and Rayleigh swings and fouls it straight back. And the count is 1 and 1. There is a strong possibility that McKinstry will enter the game around the middle of the game, probably as part of a double switch, and then finish the game since that's the type of role that he usually has for the Dodgers. Now the 1-1 from Rollison is a wave and a miss. There's that curveball, and the count is a ball and two strikes. Well, a couple of days ago when Kyle Freeland was here on his rehab assignment, Freeland used the phrase, the moon, to describe pitching in Albuquerque. Here's the 1-2, and that's high and inside for ball, and that's because of the elevation. And Freeland said the ball doesn't move too much on the moon, so he didn't throw too many curveballs. But Rollison has not been shy in using his curveball so far this evening. The 2-2, a check swing. Did he go on the appeal? Yes, says the third base umpire. And so Rayleigh strikes out, and Rollison has back-to-back -back strikeouts to begin his evening. The umpires for tonight's game, brought to you by Precision Eye Center. Tyler Olson calls balls and strikes behind home plate. It was the crew chief, Tom Woodring, at third, who had that call that Rayleigh went around, and Derek Eaton is the umpire at first base. And for those of you watching on television, you saw it, Rayleigh knew it, he went around. And so back-to-back -back strikeouts. Now here's the left fielder, Steven Souza Jr. Longtime major leaguer, now 32 years of age. 482 games in the majors, trying to work his way back with the Dodgers. First pitch, the right-handed batter taken down and in near the back foot for ball one. Rollison has black socks up to his knees. The isotopes are in their black jerseys tonight with white pants. Black isotopes hat with the red bill. The 1-0 is a cult strike on the outside corner. His fastball has been right around 91 just about every time he's thrown it so far this inning. Shift is on. Three infielders to the left side against Souza. Outfield straight away. And now time called. Rollison seems to be a very quick worker. And Souza was not quite ready. Asked for time from the umpire. Umpire doesn't have to grant him time, but Tyler Olson did. Now the 1-1. A swing and a foul. Just got a piece of it. Fouls it off at the plate. And the count is 1-2. Well, I'm sure that Rollison's heart beats a little bit faster than it normally would be. Just took off his glove, wiped a little bit of sweat near his right hip. Works from the third base side of the rubber, but he has been channeling that adrenaline in a good way. The one-two pitch is a line drive, foul, ripped but foul down the third base line. And the count is still one ball and two strikes. Rollison, 23 years old, 6'2", 213 pounds. Born in Jackson, Tennessee, went to college at Ole Miss. 
Now here's one, two. A swing and a miss. He struck him out. And how about the first inning for Ryan Rollison? He goes strikeout, strikeout, strikeout to start the ball game. Well, the Albuquerque Isotopes hitters wanted to welcome Ryan Rollison to the squad, so they just put up a three spot for him in the bottom of the first inning. Rollison had to sit around for about 21 minutes or so, and then he ended the inning at the plate himself. So a long time for Rollison to kind of let the adrenaline wear off and now gear back up on the mound. What a start for Rollison. He struck out the side in the top of the first. Again, three nothing Albuquerque. And it'll be Ronhel Ravello, Andy Burns, and Tim Fedorovich. Four, five, six hitters to bat here in the second inning. It was 85 degrees at first pitch with winds blowing at 31 miles per hour out to left. And there'll be gusts that get up above that 31 miles an hour. First pitch of the inning, Ravello takes a breaking ball, called strike on the outside corner. And on the wind up, high leg kick, 0-1 pitch is pulled fair down the third baseline, and that's gonna rattle around into the corner. Vallade will dig it out on his way to second is Ravello, and he's got a stand-up double to open the top of the second. So first hit that Rollison allows. Rollison made three starts at double A Hartford. He faced Richmond twice. The first time he went five innings, allowed one run. And then in these, this new format where we play a six game series, Rollison then started game one and then game six against Richmond. He went four innings the second time, allowed four runs, three earned. And then he faced Portland, that's Portland, Maine, not Portland, Oregon. Five and two third innings, one run allowed. Here's Andy Burns, right-handed hitter. And the first pitch is a called strike on the inside corner. Maybe the most impressive numbers for Rollison when he was at double A. Two walks against 20 strikeouts. That was in roughly 15 innings over three starts. Got two wins, got one defeat. And now the 0-1 is little inside for a ball. That evens the count at one and one. Well, yesterday Oklahoma City posted a Season high with 13 runs scored. Their previous season high was eight. They had a season low six strikeouts. The 1-1 one -one is a liner. That's another fair ball down the third baseline just past the dive of Edgeworth. It rattles around from foul territory back to fair. The run scores and into second with an RBI double is Andy Burns. So back-to-back -back doubles by right-handed hitters pulling the ball just fair down the third baseline. And Albuquerque's lead is down to 3-1. And now here's Tim Fedorovich. We've seen a lot of Fedorovich over the years at this ballpark. Fedorovich played for the Topes four straight years, 2011, 12, 13, and 14. He's played 239 games in an isotopes uniform. First pitch of the right-handed batter is taken for a called strike. He's had 1,004 plate appearances. He's hit 39 home runs for the Isotopes. Now he's playing for Oklahoma City. Now the pitch. And that is taken for a ball. It's one and one. Fedorovich ranks fourth in Isotopes franchise history with 75 doubles. A career 320 batting average when he played for the Topes. This year off to a really slow start. Four hits and 31 at-bats, that's a 129 average. The 1-1 one -one on the way. And that's a curveball that's taken low for ball two. Fedorovich now 33 years old from Chapel Hill, North Carolina. Not just all the games that he's played as a member of the Isotopes, but he has played in this ballpark as a visitor a ton. We've seen him with Iowa, we've seen him with Sacramento, we've seen him with Nashville, now we're seeing him with Oklahoma City. 2-1 is a called strike outside corner, 2-2. Two and two. Well-traveled Fedorovich. Parts of eight years in the majors, 13 seasons in all as a professional. He's also had parts of three seasons playing in another country as a pro. The 2-2 two, two just missed inside corner. Rollison thought he had him. 
looked off to the side, does not agree with the call of the home plate umpire, Tyler Olson. And that will full count at three and two. Fedorovich, 5'10", 215. And a central casting for a catcher. 3-2, slow roller foul up the third baseline. My favorite Tim Fedorovich memory was that there was some game in which he threw out four would-be base stealers, including the final out of the game. And I remember that I interviewed him the next day, and I asked him, have you ever thrown out four would-be base stealers in one game? And he said, no, usually they stop running when you throw out two or three. He said it with a smile, a little cockiness. You're allowed to be cocky when you throw out four would-be base stealers. Payoff pitch. That's low ball four. Fedorovich is aboard. And so double, double, and walk from Rollison here in the second inning. Albuquerque's lead is 3-1. And the batter will be Elliott Soto. Mentioned this last night, it feels like kind of like a family reunion in a lot of different ways during this six game series. Fedorovich used to play for the Topes. Elliott Soto, who's about to step into the right handed batter's box, he played for Albuquerque the last two seasons. Of course, the Dodgers had an affiliate, either a double A affiliate or a triple A affiliate here in Albuquerque, 44 different years. First pitch to Soto is a cold strike on the outside corner. Got a lot of other guys who have played for both the Dodgers and the Rockies. Soto's two for six so far in this series, a 179 average overall. 0-1 from Rollison. He's taken down and in for ball. And that evens the count at one and one. Taylor Motter strikes me as somebody who just knows everybody in baseball. He's at second base right now, and he's just talking to Andy Burns. Maybe he's just a chatterbox who just gets to know people very quickly when he's on the diamond. The 1-1 is down and in. Last night when Motter was at third base, he was having lengthy conversations with whoever was there, and in between pitches, he's just walking over. Seems to be making Andy Burns smile, whatever he's saying. Burns seems to be smiling quite a bit. And he played as long as Motter has. Probably make a lot of friends around the industry. Check of second, then the 2-1. And that's a little dribbler foul at the plate. And that evens the count at two balls and two strikes. One of my favorite stories in talking to Elliot Soto last year, whenever we had a Mariachi's game, Soto got really pumped up. His dad owns a Mexican restaurant in the suburbs of Chicago, and he said, we always had Mariachi music playing at my dad's restaurant. Here's the 2-2, two -two, and that's a ground ball foul. Said he was trying to convince his dad to come out to Albuquerque for one of the Mariachi games, but his dad would always say, I got a business to run. I got a restaurant to run. I can't come out and watch a baseball game. But Soto would just get really pumped up. He loved it when we rebranded ourselves as the Mariachis. Still a 2-2 two two count to the Oklahoma City shortstop. The pitch. Check swing, misses, down and in. The pitch miss, not the cut miss. And now it's a full count at three and two. Well, in for Rollison. He was in the dugout for, including the pitching change. That was probably about 22 minutes that he spent in the Topes dugout. And now the payoff pitch. Runners do not go, and that's in the dirt ball four. So he's walked back-to-back -back hitters, and Oklahoma City has the bases loaded with nobody out. Ravello doubled, Burns doubled him home. Fedorovich and Soto have both walked. Catcher Rivago, first baseman Bird, out to the mound to talk with Rollison and the pitching coach for Albuquerque. Blaine Beattie will also go out to the mound for a visit. Tonight's broadcast brought to you in part by Coleman Heating and Air Conditioning. Always leading, never compromising. Every building presents a chance to provide comfort that's more efficient, more intelligent, and more reliable. At Coleman, our pride in workmanship and dedication to quality delivers HVAC equipment that creates a long-lasting environment. Let's begin at ColemanAC.com. That's ColemanAC.com. Now here's the second baseman, Clayton Daniel. Conference is complete on the mound. Daniels a right-handed hitter. One for five in the series, a 227 average to begin the season. 
Oklahoma City entered with a record of 4-10. and 10, Albuquerque at 3-11. and 11. First pitch. Breaking ball in there for a strike. 0-1. Oh well, the Isotopes pitching staff, when you look at the strikeouts to walks, it is not something that you would like to see. The 0 1 bouncing ball chopper. That's over the third baseman's head. That's fair. That scores Burns. Here comes Fedorovich. He scores. Throw goes to third. It's not in time. Down to second goes Daniel. And that's a two run double. And this ball game is tied 3 3 here in the second inning. Well, that looked like a chopper over the. Kind of looked like an artificial turf chopper. The area in front of home plate is always watered even more so than the rest of the infield dirt is. For those of you who are watching on TV, you can't see it now, but when you get the high overhead look, you'll see that the water, I mean, there's, there's more moisture that's used on the dirt that's in front of home plate. And that last ground ball is exactly the reason why, is you don't want the ball to hit the dirt and then bounce straight up in the air because it's really hard. You want more of a true hop. First pitch, a called strike on the outside corner to Jordan Martinson, the pitcher. So that was a very unusual chopper that goes over the third baseman's head. Infield, let's see, first the 0-1, and that is a called strike. Corner infielders in, middle infielders are back. Rollison trying to put away the opposing pitcher. He works from the windup. The pitch is a called third strike on the outside corner. It is highly possible that Martinson was not going to swing the bat. He didn't look like he was too interested in swinging. So Martinson strikes out, one out. Second and third, 3-3 three, three tie ball game here in the top of the second. And the lineup turns over for the first time. Here's the leadoff man, Omar Estevez. From the windup, Rollison's first pitch, and that catches the outside corner. And it's 0-1-1. Now the left-hander deals. 0-1 pitch is a curve that misses low. Good looking pitch, just a little bit below the strike zone and Estevez would not chase it. The 1-1 on the way. That's down and in near the back foot. And the count is two balls and one strike. It was a 12 pitch first inning for Rollison. He's already thrown 27 pitches here in this second inning. This is the seventh batter to come to the plate. Soto's at third, Daniel's at second. The pitch taken inside near the back knee. And now it's three and one. Estevez, a strikeout victim in the first inning. And a hitter's count now at 3-1. Here's the pitch. And that's a called strike on the outside corner. Estevez started to walk to first base. He'll get razzed by the crowd and head back to the right-handed batter's box, and the count is full. Started to mention about how the Isotopes pitching staff has issued more walks than they have strikeouts this year. 3-2 liner, left center field gap, that's down. That splits the outfielders, goes all the way to the power forward sign. Soto scores, Daniel right behind him, and Omar Estevez has a two-run double. Oklahoma City has answered the three-run Topes inning with a five spot here in the second. Well, Omar Estevez is probably thinking to himself, I'm glad that 3-1 pitch was called a strike. Instead of a walk, I got a two-run double. And now Rollison just trying to survive the inning. That is four doubles in the inning, plus two walks. Here's Luke Rayleigh. First pitch to the lefty down the middle for strike one. Still only one out. Activity begins in the Albuquerque bullpen. Right-hander Jesus Tinoco loosening up. 0-1 pitch, and that's in the dirt for a ball. It's one and one. I was looking back on some other notable pitchers who came through Albuquerque and made their AAA debut. John Gray, opening night 2015. That was the first year the Isotopes were with the Rockies. Jorge De La Rosa started that game on a rehab assignment. Gray pitched in relief. The 1-1 is a little inside ball two. 
Gray went four innings, eight hits, six runs, five earned. Gray's first month at AAA did not go well. And then he got rolling in the second month. And then you go ahead to 2016. Kyle Freeland on July 1st made his AAA debut, went six innings, allowed just one run. 2-1 pitch, hit in the air to center field and deep. Bernard going back, and the wind takes it a little bit more toward left center. He makes the catch, tagging at second is Estevez. He makes it to third. So Bernard had to play the wind, went toward right center, and then had to quickly move about four to five steps back toward center. But hauls it in. There's two outs. Runner at third. And Steven Souza Jr. will be the batter. Warren Schaefer on the top step is heading out to the mound, and that means that Ryan Rollison's evening is done. Second visit from the Topes dugout means that Ryan Rollison's AAA debut is going to be complete after less than two innings. He dominated in the first with three consecutive strikeouts. Then he gave up five runs here in the second, and his night is done. Breaking the action here from the lab. It's Oklahoma City 5, Albuquerque 3 on the Isotopes Multimedia Network.